Howdy folks. Today we're going to be rebuilding the tether and I'm going to tell you I am not very happy about this one. This is going to be a royal pain in my butt. I had the entire tether torn down to just this shaft right here. And the reason was, let me switch around to the other view. And the reason was, is because the end of the shaft right here was bent. You can kind of see that. And that was giving me issues on this double cardan joint here. So I had to take that out and replace that and be putting that on today. So this entire machine was torn down. So the only thing left of it was this shaft here that runs straight through this. That means we had to take the hydraulics off, the carrier, the articulating arms, this housing, the rotor, this housing here, everything off, even the gearbox to expose the shaft and we get everything back together only to discover that this bolt right here for whatever reason is stripped out and the bolt will not tighten and I cannot get a helicoil into here because this interferes which means today we are going to tear this entire thing back apart so there's just a shaft coming out of here because i got to take this arm off so i can get into this damn gearbox redrill it and put a helicoil in there supremely annoying i bet i can get it ripped apart though in just a couple hours well, I first got to retract the hydraulic cylinder from these articulating arms so I can get these off. So I've got to remove that big nut there, pop that guy out so this whole arm can slide through here. I'm gonna have to, once this is gone, retract the hydraulic cylinder so this goes into there. Do that for both sides. And then I gotta loosen uh, this set screw here and pull these big mofos out right here these articulating pins to get the arm off and then snap this arm off here oh this is gonna be so much fun let's, let's get started alrighty gotta pop these stupid guys off can't do it one handed I'm gonna have to come back with both my hands. Well, if I want to take this arm out, now I gotta come and drive that pin out right there. This entire arm will just pull out, do this on both sides, and then I'll be able to take my cylinders and get them the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm having a great time today. Okay, got those arms off, cylinders off, and Got the hydraulic system here. Let's drag this, set this aside. Okay, we got the arms off. They're sitting over there in the yard. So what we're doing now is marking the rotor with the top of the hat because we're gonna have to drop the rotors off and this will help us keep them aligned. That one actually doesn't need to come off. Just this guy to take them off. We just gotta punch these two roll pins out here. And actually, no, we just have to punch this one out uh, because this one only detaches the tire from here. This one will drop it off a little spindle there. And when that happens, um, the whole hat's gonna fall out. And then there's a little yoke inside that's held by these four bolts. And then we'll have to slide this carrier off 
and undo these nuts here. So we're hooking a hoist up to this frame here. I'm not sure what you call it. And we gotta remove the frame. You really only need this frame anyway. Which is just taking these bolts out here and there. Take those out there. And then this entire frame front part is gonna go away. And then we're just gonna be left with the main I'm going to call it an axle because it looks like a rear end. It should be almost there. It is, it's coming out. We're taking this hat off now and we got this piece off. And so far we've been working at it for about 30 minutes now so she's coming apart pretty quickly. So we pulled the spindle well, the hat off the spindle. I'll show you what these look like. It's basically just a big old pinning gear there that comes and matches up to the pinning gear inside there. I don't know how well you can see it. It's kind of right there. And that spindle there is what the uh, gloves in the way that the rotor sits on. So now what we gotta do is we gotta take these bolts out here and it releases this saddle and then we'll have to undo these bolts and slowly work this housing off. There's a bearing right in there that we kind of hammered on pretty good. We'll have to kind of slide this against there to tap that bearing out and then that pinning gear will have to work its way out with it as well. Oh, I actually remember uh, those things bolt in from the bottom too. We have to screw them out from the underside. There is a bolt head underneath there. Yep, those right there. And then they thread up through there. So we gotta do that now. I'm way too lame right now, but we're probably generating some good, like, B, B size material, whatever it's called. I better get used to it. Yeah, you <laughs> better get used to it. Let's Ready? take this housing off. Full bullet. Oh, I can't believe it came off that easy. That's what she said. I was going to wonder if that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's the benefit of having it. There's that key. There's a key. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. Let's check it out. Housing with the pinning gear and the bearing actually stay put in there. I don't know if you can see the bearing. Okay. Well, we are almost an hour into it. I said it would take us 45 minutes to get this whole thing torn down. And we are damn near there because once those suckers come out, we're home free. So all we're going to do... And it's only to get to this little bolt right here. That it's only to get to that stupid bolt. Those threads. This one wasn't very tight. All those are going to come loose. And then... I like how my hand is right in front of the camera blocking everything. 
we're just going to slide that tube off. I'll retap that right there, drill it out, put a helicoil in there, and then put everything back together, and we should get everything back together in about the same amount of time it took us to tear it apart. So uh, something really bad happened when we were pulling that piece off and the shaft is so lubed up through there that it actually pulled the shaft out of that side too. You can see this is a center pinion uh, for the gearbox but the problem is the shaft pulled out of the pinion on that side and it's keyed so now we have to drop that hat uh, which won't be a big deal we just got to knock those uh, spring pins out of there and drop that down and then um, just realign that shaft through that keyway so not a huge deal but it will take us an extra 20 minutes or so probably maybe not that long anyway now what I got to do is drill this guy out right there with an oversized drill and then retap it and then I'm going to uh, twist a helicoil in there this is actually my first time doing a helicoil so I hope it goes okay. So this turned into a big mess because we had to end up just detaching that side from the gearbox too and just pull the gearbox straight out. So what I did, I took this and I drilled it out with a larger bit that comes with it. And then I took the little tool and screwed the helicoil in there. So now it's flush with that. And now I just gotta bust that side off, tap it with the hammer and break off the little tab. And I already tried it with this and that bolt threads in there real nice now. Hopefully she sticks, huh? Because this was a hemorrhoid it actually wasn't. It was pretty simple to get apart. It took and it's going to be pretty easy to get back together too. This is all kind of fun. We pretend like we hate it, but secretly give we love some, it. Give me some of these. Okay. And let me put Okay, um, this is it. Did this, it go up? Yeah, this is, we're looking at the bottom of the machine, so. Yikes. Okay, lift it back up. I'm holding the key. Okay, so the key is pointed up, and now we're going to slide this guy back on. Right there. Get it lined up on the key. I need you to tap on this. Tap, 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 tap. We'll let you 
do that. Because then it's on you if you bust something. Yeah. Oh shit, that one just ripped. Did it really? No, I'm just kidding. I, I was about ready to come take this pipe and hit you over the head with it. <laughs> so now the last thing we're gonna do is just put uh, that housing back over this and tighten it down, just like we did for everything else. Slide the gear back on as we're putting it on. We'll have her put all back together again. And uh, we made our marks so we know how to line the hats up. I gotta charge up this camera now. Okay. Well, we're about two hours in and we've got everything tightened up and put back together again. So now we're just ready to do the final assembly. We just gotta put that yoke back on there like we did. And um, put the hats back on each side. Those are real easy. They just slide on and we'll make sure lines line up that we put on the housing. And then we'll just bolt her all back down. So this is going pretty good. And that new helicoil I put in there, it worked super slick. I got it nice and tight. She's all back together. That took us, I don't know, what time is it now? Not too long, I think it took us about three hours. It's 8.03. Yeah. So it took us a little over three hours to get it all torn down, uh, get that tapped, get the shaft back in. So we got the hats back on and the, the tires. And so now all we gotta do is put this thing back on. And I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a night and start the next day on getting the articulating arms pull it back on and then i just got to fill the case with grease and i think this thing will be ready to roll again <laughs>